Hello, now I'm going to talk about um, uh, some design principles. Uh, in the context of object orientation, I'm going to talk about the solid principles and the uh, Demeter, law of the Demeter. Okay? Um, so the solid principles are single responsibility, open closed, risk of uh, substitution, interface segregation, and dependency inversion. Well, the, the single responsibility is quite simple, which means that the class should have a single responsibility. So what we are talking here about is about uh, cohesion in the sense that all the code that we have inside the class should uh, be related with the same goal. So, so that uh, if you need to change something, all the context is there and there are no code there that is nothing to do with the what is your concern and that then you have to read and you have to basically that are there just uh, as noise okay then the open closed principle that states that um, software entities should be open for extension but closed for modification is basically one of the core ideas of um, object oriented development in the sense that you have these uh, inherent uh, trees where the client of the the, the 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 inherent tree basically is uh, is low coupled with the implementations that occurs with the subclasses that the extensions that ex uh, occur in the tree, and uh, so uh, as an example, we keep seeing this diagram. So we have a bank. A bank deals with accounts, and then basically we have several types of accounts, and you can this is. Oh, is open to extension in the sense that you can basically create new subtypes of account, but it's closed to, to, to modification because when you create a new subclass, basically, you don't need to change the bank because you have a low coupling here. I'm going to repeat this. Everything depends on the abstraction on these methods, okay? What the, the quality of the abstraction in the methods. The Liskov substitution principle, uh, let me see there, defines that basically uh, when you have a, a, an inheritance relationship from type and subtype, the subtype should be really be an entity of the type. Okay, and this is strongly related when you define inheritance uh, relations where you really don't find the right abstraction on the top and on the top. Uh, superclass on the top abstraction, you include some concepts that actually doesn't, do not fit some of the subclasses. Like, for instance, if you have a, uh, a, a transport uh, artifact on the top as the superclass and you define an engine, by defining an engine at this level of abstraction, you are excluding the ability to have a subclass called bicycle. And if you define this subclass bicycle, what you need to do? Basically, you have methods related to having an engine that maybe just throw an error. Which means that you cannot replace, if you have variable of the type of the superclass with uh, transport, transportation uh, artifact, you cannot replace it with bicycle, actually. You can, but... Actually, then the client is going to receive something uh, strange when it tries to invoke some of these uh, methods. Okay. Then you have the in interface segregation principle that is related with cohesion in the sense that if in an interface you have um, different methods, okay, and these methods do not have high cohesion, means that in the implementation of this interface, we are going to create implementations that actually need to just say, well, this implementation for that method, we don't provide any behavior or the behavior makes no sense because at the higher level abstraction in the, in the interface, in the definition of the interface, you just have these two methods that are not uh, semantically related. Okay, So the idea when you try to follow the, or when you should follow the uh, interface segregation principle is to have small interfaces and cohesive interfaces. Finally, in terms of the solid um, design principles, the dependence injection principle says that one should uh, depend open abstractions, not concrete uh, uh, instantiations or concrete concepts. And the idea is that uh, if 
if you want to have low coupling, it's better to depend on something that is stable. And here the concept of abstraction is related with the concept of uh, being stable. So you should depend upon good abstractions. Okay. Uh, one example you, you can find in Wikipedia is, for instance, so instead of so you have these layers usually in uh, operating systems, and instead of a policy layer depend on the mechanism layer, which depend on the utility layer, and you think that if you think in terms of levels of abstraction, this is much lower level and this is higher level, though you have higher level things depending on lower level things, and which means that probably this change more easily and then you, keep, you need to change everything. And so the idea actually is that you, you define abstractions for the mechanism layer and this depends on this abstraction that is more stable as the advantage that additionally you can have several implementations of, of this mechanism layer. And the same occurs from the mechanism layer to the uti utility layer. Okay. Finally, I'm going to talk about the law of a Demeter, which says that basically it, it says that an object should have a, a small knowledge about the structure of objects. Because when you have a, uh, an object-oriented program, you have basically all these classes are related. So we have a, 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 a a graph or a net of classes, a net of, of relations between uh, entities. And the problem is that if your entities relate, should only know the entities that it, they have a direct connection with, such that if the other ones change, you don't need to care about it. Okay? So this is an interesting law as a problem in some sense, because now when you program, you are really happy about just doing a dot something, dot something, and you keep basically traveling through your, uh, 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 your graph of objects, right? The problem is that to implement these, basically you need to create a lot of wrappers because now you, what you need to do is that you, if you just go through several levels in this in, 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 in these graph of objects to invoke a, mode, a method on this object, basically you need to providing this functionality in a class that is close, that have, have a, a direct relation with the, the class where I'm uh, requiring that functionality. So it, 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 it has a, a strong overhead in terms of um, uh, uh, wrappers, writing wrappers of uh, uh, functionalities. Okay, good. So again, uh, all these principles are uh, relevant when well used. For instance, the law of uh, Demeter, uh, it makes sense, okay? But uh, if you try to follow any principle like uh, faith, basically we'll get uh, something that makes no sense. So the engineer is a pragmatic and the principles are to be followed on a need basis. Okay, enjoy. <laughs>